ChatGPT is bringing the world to its knees with its incredible language model. DALI is wiping out visual artists as if their graphics art degrees were worthless. No one is safe. And who's behind all of this? The San Francisco-based tech company OpenAI. In this video, I'm going to tell you the whole story of OpenAI, whether they're a trustworthy company, and what their goals for world domination are. So what is OpenAI? Can we trust them? The founders of OpenAI include some of the most well-known names in the tech industry, including Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, and Ilya Sutskever. These founders ostensibly wanted to create a company which would make AI open, which means it would be shared with the world and avoid a concentration of AI power in the hands of a select few. A noble goal, but they didn't quite stay true to that. We'll talk more on that later. You see, if AI develops as it has been predicted, it will be the single most powerful invention ever created. Through the exponentially shrinking cost of computing power, we will soon have affordable desktop PCs which are orders of magnitude more intelligent than human beings. Desktop PCs which can cure all disease and solve the most fundamental problems in physics and mathematics. So what did OpenAI do to achieve these lofty goals? They made a nonprofit. What this means is that their company must be mission driven and aimed at helping society, and not for personal gain. The IRS audits them based on their adherence to their stated mission, in this case, the safe deployment of artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, this nonprofit system didn't last long either. OpenAI made several products in its early years, such as a Dota playing robot, a cool robot hand which solves Rubik's cubes, and finally their language processing unit and grandmother of ChatGPT, GPT-2. This is where things get interesting. First, Elon Musk leaves the company because he feels working for OpenAI and Tesla is a conflict of interest. And OpenAI decides not to release the GPT-2 API to the public, fearing it will be used for the most evil thing possible in 2019, writing fake news. So suddenly the company that wanted to be so open and share their AI with the world is like, no, we're actually going to keep this for ourselves. Also in 2019, OpenAI decides to go from non-profit to for-profit. Well, not entirely. They only had a portion of their company go for profit, and this part is still under the parent non-profit organization. Regardless, these guys are starting to seem a bit shady. They made this switch with some stipulations. For instance, investors can only make a 100-fold return on their investment. This seems like a massive return, and it is. But the point is that if they achieve their goal, which is to create artificial general intelligence, the returns will be near infinite. What this does is allow investors to make a lot of money, but not amass infinite money and power once AGI comes to four. So why did they make the switch to for-profit? According to OpenAI, this is because of the intense competition in the AI space. They simply couldn't keep up. Then we get Dolly and GPT-3. Through OpenAI's tumultuous rise to power emerged two incredibly powerful systems, Dolly 2 and GPT-3. Both products have stunned the world. Dolly allows users to enter any text prompt they wish, and the program will come up with an image which portrays that prompt. This has sent shockwaves through the global community and outrage among some digital artists. And now ChatGPT, available to anyone with a web browser, is proving to have near-human-like intelligence. Ask it to write you a poem about the 2020 pandemic in the style of Shakespeare. Done. Ask it to solve logical word problems. Done. Ask it to tell you what would happen if you teleported a steamship 50 feet above the White House. Done. These two products alone are a massive wake-up call for anyone who doubted the power of AI. So what does all this mean? Well, what I'd like to stress in this video is that AI is becoming much less of a buzzword and much more of an incredibly disruptive force in the world. And those who control it are few, even if a company like OpenAI claims to want to share it with the world. Consider that the processing power of AI is doubling every three months. This means we will potentially have a system eight times as powerful as GPT-3 in a year, and 128 times as powerful in two years. In a very short amount of time, AI systems will be far more intelligent than humans and will absolutely change everything. And these systems are in the hands of messy startups like OpenAI and opaque tech giants like Google. Can we trust these organizations? It's hard to say. But what I must stress to you, the viewer, is that we are headed for some very, very interesting years ahead. Thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up icon, it would really help me grow this channel. Feel free to check out some of my other videos. I do a weird mix of memes and tech reviews. Thanks. Bye.